On Misrata's Tripoli Street, an impromptu museum displays remnants of Gaddafi's weapons used against his people. Weapons of all calibers and origins, British, French, Russian, Serbian, American, a walk through the globalized and undiscriminating world of arms sales, selling even to pariah states and isolated dictators. Showing me around, fighter turned museum curator Ali Mohammed. We've come to look at one weapon in particular, a Spanish-made cluster bomb exported to Gaddafi in 2008, right on the eve of Spain, signing the UN Convention, banning their manufacture, use or sale. In the beginning, we had no idea what cluster bombs were. After we were hurt by them, we understood that this distinctive whistling sound, followed by multiple explosions, were cluster bombs. You have to run for cover from them. The resistance of Misrata to the army of Gaddafi is now legendary. Tripoli Street was the front line for six weeks in March and April, and Gaddafi's military rained everything down on it. Cluster bombs scatter mini bomblets, designed to kill or disable large numbers of soldiers and their vehicle convoys. They're not supposed to be used in civilian areas. When he used it, it killed people, women, children, old people. When he lands on your house, he is not targeting you, the man, the fighter. He's targeting your family. That's why the whole world agreed he was a war criminal. Mizrata's people are still trying to come to terms with what they've lived through. The deliberate but random devastation of their lives. The innocent casualties from weapons of war used for internal repression. Wilma Gaddafi was to weapons shopping. What Imelda Marcos was to shoes. His collection of munitions was vast, eclectic. He had the money to buy anything he fancied, and he did. And that underscores the problem the world community has with weapons like cluster bombs. If you allow them to be made and sold, they will always end up in the hands of men like Gaddafi. Ali Mohammed used to be a truck driver. Now he tells me he knows too much about cluster bombs. Spain or any other government which has sold these weapons must come here and see the children and the people who are injured or killed by them. To profit from this killing and destruction is wrong. What happened here raises questions that go far beyond the brutality of just the Gaddafi regime. Anita McNaught, Al Jazeera, Miserata.